Now you know that there are various nodes which form a cluster and within the nodes you will have primary or replica shards and each shard contains a part of the index. They all work together to form the cluster. When your cluster grows from one machine to tens or hundreds of machines, you need to monitor the health of the cluster. And Elasticsearch provides a very easy way to monitor the health of your cluster. In the response, it returns three different statuses, red, green, and yellow. Red means that all your primary shards are not active, which means that your request will fail, your cluster is in failure state, and there are no backups, and you need to investigate this thing. The other status is yellow, which means your primary shards are active, but not all your replica shards are active, which means that some of your primary shards are not having any backups. So if primary fails, you will have an issue of such as losing the data. The most desired status is green, which means all your primary shards are active and they also have their replica shards. So your backup is there. Now let's check out how we can monitor the health of our cluster. So let's bring our terminal and let's type this command curl minus x get. Remember this is the location and port of the Elasticsearch which we installed uh, in our previous uh, lessons. And we can invoke an API underscore cluster health. So what it will do is it will show you the health of your cluster. Okay, so it is not in, uh, in uh, easy to read format. What we can do is we can just add question mark pretty and it will show the result in a formatted way. So here you can see this is your cluster and it is in status yellow. And uh, it is in status yellow because we only have one node. We don't have any other uh, node for assigning replicas. So our machine has no backup, which is fine for our development. All right, so you can also try it on your machine and just play with it.